Hello friends, this is Arun and welcome in my Photoshop channel in Arun's creation. Today I will teach you how to crop images. I have an image uh, that is having a milk and having a glass. I want to crop this image uh, or you can say I want to remove or I can I want to change the background. Uh, in this image, uh, it is very difficult to crop uh, this milk because there are many uh, small parts and this uh, image of milk so I have a very good technique for uh, to crop this image to crop this uh, milk or and this glass so this is uh, for this I will uh, go to select then color range in color range uh, you will get a dialog box simply now you are having a eyedropper tool uh, how can you use this uh, eyedropper tool? Uh, you can take a selection directly from the image. Uh, whenever you move this pointer to your image, uh, this will convert into a pointer. So in this uh, square box, white and black, these are two portions. Uh, white means the portion is selected and black means the portion is not selected. Then I will select this uh, uh, blue portion mm, say like this and uh, you have uh, uh, you are now having a uh, this uh, add sample button and then choose this button I want to remove these part also to add this selection uh, I will click on this part and uh, now it is uh, totally white and this is totally black uh, so adjust the business value according to you uh, so that uh, the I think uh, this value is 64 uh, this value is working perfectly and uh, this is uh, the portion this is uh, purely black and this is purely white now you can click on the ok button so there is a selection uh, this is a very good selection you can see even uh, uh, these are small drops of milk even these are also selected Uh, now I zoom out this image uh, now control J you can click control J uh, before this I will go to select modify and feather I will take feather of two pixels of uh, the selection it is two pixels then click OK I have take this uh, feather because the edges should be smooth and uh, control J for before this uh, uh, you have to invert the selection by pressing control shift and I then I will press control J now you have a cropped image so I will change the background uh, I have uh, taken a new layer and uh, Mm, I want this yellow shade so in this way you can uh, crop images uh, very nicely uh, very professionally you can do uh, your job so friends uh, now I am having I am having a another image I will use same technique so you can get the more information and more clarity about this concept so I will select uh, the image then select then color range uh, no problem is that in image uh, there is a fog in this image uh, so how I will remove this or how I will crop this plane uh, from the background only plane not having this white portion uh, so I will take a selection from the image I have select this then add sample then click on this and uh, I will uh, take a selection from this white portion I have click now you can set the fusiness value mm. I am taking selection again so 
very perfectly this plane can be selected um, then press ok button now plane is selected uh, now I will do uh, select modify feather feather I will take two now control shift I to invert the selection then control J now plane is cropped from the background then I will change the color of the background that I want to take yellow so in this way you can crop image so friends I uh, now I am having uh, another image in this image uh, there is a bicycle or uh, I want to change the this red color into any other maybe green or red or uh, magenta or anything else I want to change this color by using uh, color range technique I have taken this image select the layer then go to select color range now I will take a sample from this uh, reddish portion uh, I have clicked this red uh, then add sample button mm, this 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 now I increase the value of fuzziness mm, I want uh, it is 53 then ok now this red portion is selected uh, now simply you can do one thing go to the hue and saturation uh, make sure there is a selection hue and saturation then uh, it will automatically put a mask uh, on this layer then move this ladder to change the color of the image mm, this is orange this is green so in this way you can do uh, many more things by using this technique